Welcome to the Visual Cam Quick Start Tutorial Series brought to you by Mexal. Hello everyone. Today we're going to be giving you a quick start in automatic feature machining with Visual Mill. Automatic feature machining or AFM is a automated way of machining your parts uh, from solid models and we're going to show you how it works. Now there's just two requirements uh, for AFM. The first is that you have to have a solid model. Uh, it can be a closed poly surface uh, model uh, or you can be a solid model that you imported from another CAD application or created uh, in Visual CAD. And the other is that you need to have a knowledge base uh, created uh, that has uh, the definitions for each of the toolpaths that your part features uh, contain. Now, Visual Mill ships with a uh, knowledge base, a default knowledge base already, uh, so you'll be able to use AFM right off the bat. So let's show you how it's done. What I've got on the screen here is a solid model that I've opened in Visual CAD and I'm going to show you first um, the prerequisites and then we're going to go ahead and do some uh, AFM. So the first thing you need to do is obviously is make sure that you have a solid model. And to check that you can just select your part and go to analyze and do part information. And uh, it'll tell you what you have here. So we've got one shell and 61 faces. So the one shell indicates that it's a polysurface model. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the CAM preferences. So uh, we'll go to the uh, machining browser and we'll select CAM preferences and we'll go to the features section of the preferences dialog. Now here there's uh, a number of things you can do. You can set colors for features that are detected in your model. You can set the transparency uh, for those uh, features and how they're displayed. And you can also turn off some uh, feature uh, highlighting uh, tips and we'll show you those in a second. Now to perform AFM you need to have uh, an automatic feature machining AFM knowledge base defined in your preferences. So we're going to go ahead and pick the file open button and if you go to the install path, the program data install path of Visual Cam, you will find a uh, knowledge base file called defaultinch.vkb. Let's go ahead and open that and that gets added to your uh, defaults uh, preferences dialog. So that's all we need to do there. I'll pick OK. Now we can go ahead and uh, perform AFM uh, on this solid model. Now let's go down to the uh, machining objects browser at the bottom here and we'll select the features tab. Now there's two steps to performing AFM. The first is that you need to automatically detect your features and you can perform automatic feature detection or AFM or you can perform interactive feature detection or IFM and for this I'll show you both ways but for this uh, to start off we'll do the automatic feature detection. So if you look on the toolbar on the features tab you need to work, you work your way from left to right. So here's the feature detection commands here and at the, on the left is your automatic feature machining command. So just work away from left to right and you'll be able to do some uh, AFM. So let's go ahead and pick the uh, automatic feature detection and Visual Mill uh, analyzes the part and lists the features that you have in the part uh, in the feature tree. And as you can see, I've got planar faces, uh, prismatic pockets, open pockets, uh, open prismatic pockets and holes, etc. So 
we've got all the features detected and if you want to uh, learn a little bit about each feature you can uh, just highlight the cursor over it and it'll give you the name of the feature and now that we have the features detected now we can go straight to uh, automatic feature machining and what we'll do now is we'll select the features uh, tree at the top so that all the features under it get analyzed and we'll select the AFM button. So what you see that happen here is each of the features in our tree were analyzed and machining operations uh, for those features were extracted from our knowledge base and added to our machining job tree and generated automatically. Now that's how fast it is. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you a little bit uh, more about the toolbar in the features tab and show you a little bit about how we got to this point with this particular model. So let's go ahead and we'll just delete uh, our setup so with all of our operations. Now we'll go ahead and for now we'll go ahead and delete our features also. So here's uh, where, how we started here. So now instead of hitting uh, automatic feature detection, we can go ahead and do interactive feature detection. And what you do now is the features are extracted based on a planar surface that you select. So let's go ahead and select a planar surface. We'll right click and that surface is analyzed and you'll see that just that the features just in that surface were determined. Okay, so we got a, a planar face feature and we got some hull features and some chamfers. Now, if you want to just do this uh, automatic feature machining uh, on your, uh, your interactive feature detection, you can go ahead and go straight to the AFM command and it'll create uh, operations based on the features that you have detected. Okay, so let's delete that and let's delete our features again. And so what you can do now is um, you can tell Visual Mill which types of features that you want to be recognized. So you can go into the uh, set filters for feature detection dialog and it has a checkbox for each of the type of features uh, that's supported in Visual Mill. And you can, right now they're all checked and we're, we're detecting all the features that we can. And for the whole feature detection filters, you can use these to set your diameter range filters uh, for hole detection. So now let's go ahead and detect all of our features again. So we have all of our features detected. And what you can do now is you can get a report uh, on those features by the, selecting this icon here. And it lists all of your features in the features information dialog. Uh, the orientation. Each orientation of your part that has a feature uh, will be detected. So if you have a part that needs to be machined from more than one side, uh, it'll detect uh, all of the features from uh, all sides of your part. Uh, that's in automatic feature detection. And it gives you the feature type, the feature name that was assigned to it, and the feature parameters such as depth, uh, diameters, uh, things of that nature. And you can print this uh, to get a feature uh, list printed out. So let's talk a little bit about uh, the knowledge base. And if you're familiar with previous versions of Visual Mill and our knowledge base features, uh, you'll be able to follow pretty much what I'm going to show you. Uh, if not, you can go back uh, into the online help and learn more about uh, knowledge bases in Visual Mill. So, this next button uh, on the dialog, there's icon number five. We're going to select create machining uh, knowledge base for milling features. And if you want to get more information about any of these dialogs, just pick the help button and the help system will come up and show you uh, documentation for each of the commands and buttons and how to use them. Okay. So, Basically, uh, we mentioned that 
your default knowledge base is defined in your CAM preferences. You can create additional knowledge bases, or you can edit the one that uh, comes installed with Visual Mill. So let's load our AFM knowledge base. This is the knowledge base that we uh, assigned using the CAM preferences dialog. And you'll see that it has these features already defined uh, in the knowledge base. So based on these features and these operation types, uh, this is the uh, tool pass that were created automatically. So you can, uh, you can edit these and for instance, you can drag additional features over here uh, if you want to machine these a little differently. So let's go ahead and close that. Now, also, the next icon over on the toolbar is create machining knowledge base for selected whole features. This one was for milling features. This one is for whole features. Now, for this one, you have to select a whole feature uh, set or an individual whole feature uh, in order to run this command. So we have a whole feature seven selected and we're gonna pick create machining knowledge base for selected whole feature. And this dialog allows you to assign operations for this particular whole feature. Uh, now anytime uh, in your, uh, when you perform AFM, the cross-section of the whole features are analyzed and when it finds an exact match of that cross-section in your knowledge base, it will automatically perform the toolpath operations that you assign uh, to that feature. So as you can see, we have a through hole with a chamfer uh, at the top. This cross-section uh, shows you a preview here on the right. So let's go ahead and we'll drag over a um, center drill operation first, and then we'll do a standard drill, and then we'll do a chamfering operation at the top. So each one of these uh, operations are now assigned to this particular feature, whole feature seven. Now, Anytime that you, as I mentioned, anytime that uh, when you perform, perform AFM and it retrieves information from your knowledge base, it's based on the cross section uh, of your whole feature. And if that matches, then it will assign these tool paths to that feature. Okay, so let's cancel out of that. Now, the next thing uh, I want to talk about is, well, how do I set the rules for my knowledge base? So how, how does it know to grab this particular feature and assign this particular toolpath with these particular parameters uh, to that particular feature? So let's go over to the KBases tab and we're gonna load the knowledge base that we have assigned at our CAM preferences. We'll select default inch and open that. So this is the knowledge base that we have defined. And if you look at it, you'll see that each operation type has a selection rules um, icon under it. So if you double click on that, you'll see that um, this particular operation is assigned to a feature. You can have a geometry based rules like uh, in previous versions of Visual Mill, but now you can also have feature based rules. So for this facing operation, we have assigned it to open prismatic pocket features. So anytime an open prismatic pocket uh, is recognized as a feature, it is assigned the two and a half axis facing uh, operation toolpath. And you can see that for the other operations in our tree, we can go ahead and select rules for the pocketing. You'll see that it will, anytime it recognizes a prismatic pocket or a stepped pocket, uh, it'll assign uh, this toolpath operation to that feature. So let's go ahead and pick cancel there. And you'll see that the other icons in here uh, defines the tool for this particular operation and knowledge base, the fees and speeds, the clearance, every, all the parameters, everything is set uh, in these uh, operations. Now, what happens if things change? Let's say 
you just you after you set up your knowledge base let's say that you, you know you want to change some parameters or change a tool or whatever so let's go ahead and go back over to the uh, tools tab and you, also I want to mention here is that whenever we ran AFM uh, all of the tools that we needed were loaded uh, into the part file so let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and run go over to the features tab so here's our operations let's say for instance you want to change something in one of these operations okay let's say that you want to change the step over uh, for pocketing so we just go into the pocketing operation and we can change the tool here we can change parameters uh, you can change it for instance if you don't want a high-speed pocketing cut pattern let's say you just want an offset cut pattern you can change that you can change anything just just the way you can for uh, interactive uh, feature machining uh, in visual mill and I'll show you I know we're throwing out a lot of acronyms uh, but once you get the hang of, of this you'll see that it's really easy to use okay so let's say we change something here so now we have an offset cut pattern instead of a high speed cut pattern and you can do that uh, to all any operation up here you can change anything you want so now to get this back into our knowledge base we'll just select our setup we'll right click and we'll pick save to knowledge base and you can go ahead and select your default inch knowledge base and update that or you can save it as a new knowledge base uh, however you want now I mentioned um, interactive feature machining we just did uh, automated feature machining or AFM let's talk about interactive feature machining so let's go ahead and, and we'll delete those for now so we'll leave our features since so uh, you need to do uh, you need to recognize your features regardless of, wh of whether you're going to do uh, IFM or AFM so for interactive feature machining what you can do is you can uh, go over here and select one of your features that say our prismatic pocket just right click on it and it'll display the tool pass that you can perform on this operation and you can also perform AFM and you have your uh, knowledge bases here that you can select also so you can select facing and perform a facing toolpath operation uh, you know change any of the parameters you want and generate and that's how you do interactive uh, feature machining well that's it for now uh, stay tuned for more videos and we'll go into more detail on uh, automatic feature detection interactive feature detection automatic feature machining and interactive feature machining with visual mill for further assistance, you can visit the online help supplied with the program or visit www.mexsoft.com for additional tutorials. Thank you.